Yeah. What's happening? Just put your, put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. We're going to sort it all up. We're going to sort it all up. Now, a rapper forgot his Glock in an Uber and uh, got arrested. This is a pretty crazy story right here. The clip I played you at the beginning was an Instagram live session from 25-year-old Chicago rapper Lil Zay Osama. He got arrested the other day while he was live streaming on IG after he, like the title says, allegedly forgot his Glock with a switch inside an Uber. What happened is this, Lose Osama a few days ago called an Uber to head towards a recording studio located in Queens, New York. The Uber arrived, Lose and his guys went inside, they arrived to the location and exited the vehicle. Now during this Uber trip, the Uber driver himself noticed that Lose was carrying a firearm. As Lose was hopping out the car, his loaded Glock 22 40 cal pistol somehow slipped out of his pocket and uh, he ended up leaving it behind inside the Uber. As soon as the Uber driver saw that a firearm was left behind, he decided to notify the authorities. The police shortly after arrived to the scene. Lose Osama was arrested by the cops as he was live streaming on Instagram. What's happening? I What's happening? Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. What happened? We're gonna sort it all up. We're gonna sort it all up. What is going on? We're gonna sort it all up. I'm the man. I'm just being detained right now. So I'm just. You get my phone though. Yeah, yeah. You got anything on you? I'm on live. I'm on live, sir. Check it out. Get caught hanging with the ops and you gon' get your ass smoked. The firearm that Lose Osama was carrying was identified as a loaded Glock 22 40 cal pistol. The worst part, this wasn't no regular degular schmegler Glocky. This was a modified firearm. In other words, this was a Glock with a switch. If you don't know what that is, well, this is what that is. The gun switch that is turning pistols into machine guns is also causing a different kind of switch, according to law enforcement. A switch in the firepower that criminals have versus cops. When police are outgunned, the public can pay the price. So whenever you hear that a gun has a switch, don't imagine a regular schmegler pistol. Think more like a machine gun. It turns the gun from a pow 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 to a This is what Lil Zay Osama got caught with, which I don't have to tell you makes this so much worse for him. Now, mind you, this entire arrest went down in the state of New York. We're going to talk about what that means in a second. If you live in New York, you already know what that means, but we'll get to that. Now, Lil Zay allegedly already had two prior felonies on his criminal record prior to this arrest. Those felonies stem from two different cases, one from 2013 and one from 2014. Dukes allegedly has, that's his name, Dukes allegedly has two outstanding warrants for his arrest in two different jurisdictions and already has multiple felony convictions in Illinois, including two counts of robbery and one count of aggravated battery in 2014 and one count of robbery and one count of aggravated discharge of a firearm in 2013. So as you could hear, two counts of robbery, one count of aggravated battery that was allegedly in 2014 and then one count of robbery and one count of aggravated discharge of a firearm that was allegedly in 2013. The prosecutors in this case are actually using Lose Osama's own lyrics against him. Lose has a song called Danny Block, which dropped back in 2021. In the song, he said the following, every day a different Glock, pussy boy know how I play it. I hope this song right here don't get in the hands of the feds. Uh, too, too late. Hey, I just got a brand new Glock pop, 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 pop. with a 50 and a switch. I just popped one of my ops. Pew, 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 pew. I'm finna go do another hit. In the complaint that they filed in his case, the prosecutor cited these rap lyrics stating that because of what he said on his record, obviously he was well aware of the significance of putting a switch on his gun and modifying it in this manner. That's according to the prosecutors. They also said that he had two outstanding warrants, which according to the prosecutors made him a flight risk and a danger to the community. Now, if there's one place in the world I'd rather get caught without it than with it, it's definitely in New York. New York has some of the strictest gun laws in the United States. It's actually ridiculous how strict it is. So unlike Unlawful possession of a firearm in New York can give you five or seven years, depending on the nature of the crime. A couple factors come into play. As an example, are you a convicted felon? Because if you are, that's going to raise the number to seven. If not, it could be five or less. The maximum length, however, for this kind of charge is 15 years, which I don't think Zay is going to get, but I don't think he's going to get less than a couple years. 
unfortunately. It's leaning more towards five or seven, especially considering the fact that he does have prior felonies on his rap sheet. Also, and this is the worst part, since it is a modified firearm, this is what we call a slam dunk. If they catch you with an illegal firearm, that's one thing. If they catch you with an illegal firearm while being a felon, mm, that's another thing. If they catch you with an illegal firearm that's been illegally modified while you're a felon, that is a whole nother thing. They don't play about this shit in New York is what I'm trying to say. So much to the point where on September 1st, Times Square was recently declared a gun-free zone. So you carry a gun in Times Square, that's an automatic felony. In just two days, New York's new concealed weapons laws take effect. And the city council is revealing what parts of Times Square will be designated as gun-free zones. By the way, just my quick stance on this. When you restrict law-abiding citizens from carrying so they can protect themselves, do you know what that does? That makes the criminals with guns very happy because now they know. If I go to these areas, you know, if I go to Times Square or if I go to any other gun-restricted area because New York has a lot of them, if I go there, I can nine times out of ten assume that the innocent people I want to rob won't have guns because they don't want to catch a felony, obviously. And so the law-abiding citizens, they follow the rules. The criminals don't because they're criminals. So the criminals got guns, the innocent people don't that's going to lead to innocent people getting hurt and killed. That aside, this is a very unfortunate situation. I've known about Lil Zay Osama since 2018 when he dropped that changed up record, so it's very unfortunate to see this. I mean, he's been doing so good this year. This summer, he actually dropped a record with Lil Durk, which is uh, Fuck My Cousin. Yes, that is actually the name of the song, but he's not talking about fucking his cousin. He's talking about smoking his cousin. We don't brag no more. We get the yelling go. with the ops and you gonna get so ass smoke. No lie, man, that song is demonic as hell, but I like it because I'm a demon too. Very unfortunate to see, but at the end of the day though, man, if you're in New York and you're illegally carrying a firearm that's modified while being a felon and you forget it in an Uber, I can't blame anybody here but Lil Zay Osama. Forgetting that Glock in that Uber is unfortunately most likely gonna cost him the next few years of his life, and there's nothing to celebrate about that. It's sad, especially since he was doing so good. The man didn't harm nobody, he just happened to carry, I know, illegal but still, he was carrying in a state with very restrictive gun laws. Yes, he did have prior felonies, but since I don't know what those cases were about, I'm not going to speak on him. So this kind of crime, I can't really look at this and go off on him. I mean, a lot of people have gotten arrested and locked up for unlawful possession of a firearm in New York because of the laws. The difference between Lil Zay and those people though, obviously his gun was modified. He's a felon. He should know better than to strap up like this of all places in New York. And by the way, I know a lot of people are going to bring up his lyrical content and say he raps about killing, he has a gun, he could have done something with it. Slow your role because you really don't know that because here's the thing a lot of people actually carry illegally not with the intention of doing something malicious a lot of times people carry strictly for protection and maybe they happen to be in a state where they can't really carry like in this case and if someone is carrying and they happen to get caught you can't just assume that they're going to do something malicious with that firearm even if they rap about it for Lose, he's a rapper who does have enemies since security as a rapper is very expensive especially since you know he's not at that high of a level yet him carrying even if it's illegally could be the deciding factor as to if he's going to be able to protect himself or die if one of his ops tried taking him out. Hope that never happens, by the way. That aside, forgetting your clock with a switch in an Uber while you're in New York, while you're a felon. So, 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 so sloppy. I don't even know what to say, man. But yeah, Chicago rapper Lil Zay Osama recently forgot his modified Glock 22 pistol inside an Uber in New York. The Uber driver called the police and uh, Lil Zay Osama got arrested live on a gram. Any thoughts on his story? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. Like this video, 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 like... <laughs> I'm out. Let's have a about this.